these are some of our ideas on how you will benefit as an entrepreneur. We, we believe that, you know, because you've got at least two coaches supporting you for the week, um, you're getting, you know, between five and 10 hours of value. Um, and <laughs> to your point, Alistair, it's actually not about the hours, you know, it's about the insights and, and um, in a sort of high speed kind of coaching kind of way. So high value speed coaching, supported by a minimum of two coaches based on circumstances and need. Uh, we might even have three in some cases, you know, there, there's a, there's a case that we're going to look at um, with some guys that have started a rhino dehorning business. And one of my mates is an expert in the tourism industry and is involved in some of the, the lodges and all that kind of thing. So because of expert experience, we're going to bring him into that case to support these guys. Um, it just depends on, 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 on the need that arises. There's going to be quite a bit of juggling to find, you know, the, the, the ideal support for the case uh, that we're serving. Some collaboration in a safe space. Um, you know, I think one of the things Sorry, with this Paul's community... Paul? Uh, go for it, Paul. You know me, I'm yeah. going um, So I just wanted to, I did write it down, but I'll still forget. Um, how we, I'm part of a peak community, Craig knows about it, he's part of it as well. It's an international uh, marketing uh, community. Uh, some of the uh, leading marketers around the world, uh, very focused, uh, 200 plus, growing it slowly. Um, how, how we started, and I just, just want to shoot it out there. I mean, you guys have put a lot of effort into this. So I don't want to come in here and just start. Uh, but we, we started the community first. So, so say, for instance, you have an initiative. Um, what I'm hearing is when you say two coaches or more, I think just a good idea is to start with more because everyone has value to add from a different mm. angle. And when you start with more in a, in a central place, so someone uh, in, 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 a, in, a, in a community platform like Mighty Network or uh, whatever you're using, I know we're using LinkedIn for now, but I know we are gonna progress out of that. Um, it starts with someone logs something and then people just from a value perspective, because they're part of that community, they add feedback and ideas out of that. And then sure. we go into a more focused group where people can be more focused around chatting around that. So sure. I'm just, I don't, you don't want to, the whole experience of someone putting something in there, I think must be, must exist. It must be a living experience for everyone. And mm. then eventually people can then say that, oh yeah, no, I've got experience in that. Another person, all innocent. Yeah, look, I mean, so yeah, I get, I get where you're coming from, Paul. I think the first point is that the minimum of two coaches is specific to the to the initiative for the week. The 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 process leading up to that can be anybody in the community posting a I need help with ABC. That you know, and and uh, so this is a structured process for the week. And it's actually to give them the, the, the confidence that they are, they are in a safe space and that they, uh, you know, they can f float their idea or float their challenge without being um, feeling like, um, you know, that they're going to be criticized by somebody or feeling silly about, you know, what their challenge is. So, so it's not like a group, you know, link post on LinkedIn, you're not going to post on LinkedIn, uh, please help me with my cash flow kind of thing, I don't think. <laughs> Although if you do, um, be interesting to see what happens. So yeah, it's, you know, this is a specific a approach to an initiative to provide focused support to entrepreneurs through a week of coaching. And it's not a fixed start and end that can carry on uh, in whatever structure makes sense and leading up to it, we can use the, the group, the, the, the LinkedIn group for people to start to say, I'd like this or I'd like that. Um, we'll, we'll put a post out on in that regard. Okay. So fresh ideas and validation, I think is part of the value as well. Um, you know, you, you're going to get, and I guess that's also to very much to your point, Paul, is the more people are participating, the more people are involved, the more engagement there is, the more fresh ideas you'll get. So, and validation could also be negative, you know, don't do that, rather try this, whatever the case might be. 
input to critical thinking, creative problem solving, and exponential possibilities. So, you know, have you really considered the art to the possible, or you know, what's really out there is uh, that that can be done to resolve to solve your problem or help you be the change you want to see. To uh, use some cliches. Network, meet, learn, and engage with new people. So that's part of the value. Immediate access to community tools, resources, and coaches. So we're we're building out tools, resources, and of course, you know, part of the abundance thinking around what we're trying to do here is that we all learn and learn and teach at the same time. So that's part of the resources that you'd have access to. We find tools that work and we 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 share them. And we find resources that help solve problems and we share them. Accelerated learning and growth through team challenges and activities. So this is an example of one of those. And then be part of a community of self-learners and a network of peers. So those are the benefits that we see. Um, anybody disagree with any of those or think we've missed, missed a trick? Um, I'd love to hear if there are more benefits that you think we should, we should list specifically. Yeah, perhaps uh, if I may, uh, Craig, the, the focus on practical uh, mm. in terms of the value that I would get out of it. Mm. Uh, I, mm. I'm looking for that. I'm not necessarily seeing mm. that. So it's going from a, a pain yeah. situation to a fun situation, if I can use that metaphor. So mm. uh, um, it's 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 related to going out there and really hitting the ground, running with a problem solved. Yeah, yeah. Which I yeah. think is probably one of the strong. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Real practical, you know, next steps and and yeah. suggestions and so on. Absolutely, that's a great. Uh, we'll add that. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, I think what, that's, that's what Jacques touching on there now, and as you've summarised now, Craig as well, is that one of the major outcomes from that 60 minutes um, round table session mm. at the end of the week. The wrap up um, session. Yeah, the mm. wrap up session. Mm. Um, mm. Where, where definite next steps, um, what's next, et cetera. Um, yeah, all, all, all good. Now, yeah. So, Craig, no? after you, Jacques. I, I don't know if I missed it. I probably did. The, the slide on the purpose of the masterminders. Um, yeah, the master, the first one. Um, yes. Not the, yeah. the challenge, the, the challenge minder. Yeah. You, 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 there is a purpose of both. So there's the masterminder purpose. Yeah, I've got that one. I remember okay. that. And, then... and the challenge minder. Yeah. Purpose. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm just thinking, having seen both of, of the of the concepts, I'm just picturing or trying to picture the person that would um, present themselves to be given a challenge. What, what do you guys see that background being? Why would a guy or, or a lady for that matter, sorry, ladies, um, guy being the, the neutral verb, why would a person present themselves to be challenged in, in the challenge minder? Um, I, th I think Paul should answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe but even I can, Alistair. I mean, so I, I can, can understand. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a problem um, and I'll go there and I'll present my problem. That That's mm. a very valuable um, component. But so I'm just trying to visualize why would I present myself to be given a challenge um, and what's okay, the context so from, of the challenge? Mm. Yeah, okay, since no, no no response from Paul and Alistair. Ah, oh, Alistair's put no. his hand up. I do. <laughs> yeah, I was being quiet just listening. Um, Jacques, I asked the same question and I wrote to Liesl and Craig saying, like, what is this thing? Why would I participate? Mm. And I, I, um, I wrestled with the idea a little bit, but what I understood is that having access to people that are going to ask me questions I would never think of is valuable. And that's probably one of the biggest things. So I know the questions I'm going to ask and I'm looking for diverse opinions to say, mm. did you think about this? Have you even yeah. tried that idea? Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking for the stuff that sounds a little bit crazy or ridiculous yeah. that I would not do yeah. to challenge my own logic. I want to be challenged. <laughs> exactly. I yeah. want to be challenged. Exactly. Yeah. So that's one of the biggest things I think you can find here. Mm. 
Absolutely. Melissa, you've got your hand up. Yeah, I think 100%, Alistair. And just to add on to that uh, um, for Jacques is uh, a lot of the time we think we know the answer um, and we think we kind of know uh, how things are going depending on the context of the business. Yeah. Uh, and for me, when I say, you know, it's like jumping off a cliff, you, you don't know what it's going to be like and to get the experience. So for, for me, that is the whole thing is to get some kind of experience, simulated experience, real life experience of what is yeah. currently going on. And that's where, you know, subject matter, ex well, I don't, we don't like the word subject matter, but perspectives from different people who have had different experiences in life that part actually is is mm. sort of the value add because then you're bringing in Indeed. um uh, as paul mentioned now collective intelligence that's and you're bringing it in on both counts yeah. uh, but for me it's how do you do it in a safe environment because you're not spending money at this stage to go and put into something you can actually just collaborate or just ask for opinions on a particular idea or situation that you're in in your on what you did and um, how you positioned yourself on the in the Monday session. Zachary. I just want to add one awesome. last point. Um, we, mm. For me, one of the greatest um, growth uh, experiences in my life was from where I was challenged. Um, you know, and, and there's this thing called the blind spots we all have as well. Um, mm. And, you know, uh, for, and, and, and when my blind spots were made known to me, that's when I experienced exponential growth. Cool. Thank you. That was awesome. Uh, Alistair, I love your um, having access to diverse thinking is one of the greatest benefits. And, and Liesl, your blind spots point, absolutely spot on. So, and thanks, uh, Melissa. Um, I'll catch you if you jump off the cliff. <laughs>